Hello there, good afternoon. My name is Baba Tando. I have the latest in the world of sports. Let's get talking right here, right now. Let's talk about, uh, or let's start from the continent, because the president, uh, president of the Confederation of African Football, CAF, Ahmad Ahmad, arrived in Accra on Monday ahead of um, an event to see him awarded an honorary doctorate by the University of Professional Studies, Accra. He was honorably welcomed by the president of the Ghana Football Association, Kwesi Nyantichi, at the Kotoka International Airport. Mr. Ahmad, has, uh, he's been widely praised for the major reforms he has undertaken in football in Africa since becoming the president of CAF about one year ago. And upon his arrival, he elaborated on those reforms and his plans to continue with more improvement. This, we change many things. CAF now has a, in French we call it an organigram, I don't know in English. It's the same in English. Yeah, or, or organigram. We change our, uh, we make a reform of statutes. We make uh, many services now, uh, who nowadays, who nowadays, we need it, like a compliance. Before there is no compliance, because we work like that before, no control, no protection. Now we need that for the financial transparency. We need that for the good governance. That's a big effort. We change many things about uh, competition, for example, but himself is here. My general secretary for the football, he can talk to you how what they do now. Start to do, not to do only, but start to do because we are, have a lot to do for the training, for the referee. The president too is there. Every time there is a training for the referee now. Training for the uh, coach and reform about the competition. It's not easy to do that. Right, so amongst the major reforms that um, the CAF president, Ahmed Ahmad, has uh, brought to um, African football is the expansion of the AFCON tournament uh, to accommodate more countries. Remember, it used to be 16 countries, but now it's going to be more. And he's also um, putting up $2.5 million for the five African countries that will be in Russia for the FIFA 2018 World Cup. Um, we'll get more, but uh, let's move on to other stories. I'm president and board chairman of Ghana Rugby Federation, Herbert Mensa has advised the Ghana Olympic Committee to take a strong position on transparency. The GOC has been in the news for all the wrong reasons following Ghana's abysmal showing as it just ended um, Commonwealth Games and, of course, the visa scandal, which the association is alleged uh, to have taken part in. Herbert Mensa, who doubles as the chairman of the GOC's media relations subcommittee, wants the association to take a critical look at the internal organs, especially when preparing for international games. I think that the GOC themselves have to take a very strong position. The strong position on the following. One, transparency. People need to understand the process and therefore culpability. People don't need to hide behind that. The process insofar as how do people go to an event? Which of the sports federation heads, first and foremost, recommends people to participate or to support? And what is the legitimacy in that? And where there isn't any, we need to look at that process. And those presidents, any of us, should be brought to book and held to task. Mm -hmm. Then we have to look at our own internal system. What is it that our Secretary General signs off for? And what is the mandate to sign off? At what level? Still on the same subject, and Ghana won a medal at the Olympic at the Commonwealth Games. And for Herbert Mensah, that didn't come as a surprise. But he wants the focus and atten attention to be on the next games. How do we get a different approach to raising funding? Then you and I can say, Commonwealth Games, Birmingham, we should try and get five, six medals. The games after that, we should be looking at 20 medals and therefore establishing ourselves with the natural ability we have. But without that, I wasn't so scared. Right, so the next games will be in Tokyo in 20. 
20. Um, don't forget uh, that uh, clay season is still on in tennis and uh, there's more actually in Barcelona. The Barcelona Open actually taking place. Uh, it will be uh, on our sports page on myjoyonline.com. Don't also forget that the Champions League commentary coming up on your Super Hits Radio with a commentary duo of George Addo Jr. and Gary Al Smith. You should join them on Joy 99.7 FM at 6.30 p.m. sharp for the first semi-final game of the 2018 UEFA Champions League. Um, like I said, you can check out more on myjoyonline.com forward slash sports. I tweet at the handle at Barbatando. It's same for Instagram. Sports is done. Good afternoon.